Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Uh, today quite an interesting one, a little bit weird. But we have got 30, two 31cm long pieces of 3 quarter inch square stock. Today, what we are going to be trying to make is a pair of nunchucks. A little bit odd, hopefully it should be a bit of fun. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Right, so whilst the motor's heating up, I just wanted to say thank you to Sensei Russell from Karate for giving us the idea. I think well, you probably weren't actually being serious, but I uh, might as well give it a go. Look, they're fun. So thank you. And indoors, I left it indoors, the house is locked. Uh, there is a leather apron that um, Charlie, little Charlie from Karate, I mentioned it before in a previous video. Um, he gave it to me. So thank you, Charlie. Will be in another video, but not this video because it is currently indoors. So sorry about that. Right, so let's get your hands up here. And we should go in with the video. Right, so what we're going to do, you've seen me do this before, we're going to do a peanut play twist, pineapple twist. We're just going to stick it right at the edge. I'm going to stick back and forth and do the other three side. Right, let's do another three. You're right up to the edge. It's all four sides done. Yeah. I thought we were doing another three sides, but we've only done four, so happy days. Right, so we're going to heat it up, go over to the base, and twist it um, like we did in the previous video. We're going to twist it two, four turns. So, back and forth. metal to twist and it's such a big piece of metal so I'm going to do one full twist instead of two so it's just a bit hot for me that is now half a turn So, I've done, 
Well, I, I, oh, I've completed half a turn. So I need to finish off this three quarter turn and do one other quarter turn and then it'll be a full turn. So you're going to stick this in the forge, give it a nice nut, where you twisted it once clockwise. Now you're going to twist this half a turn anti clockwise. So we have our pineapple twist here, yeah, that will be mostly just to hold on to. And now what we're going to do is we're from there all the way down to the end, we're going to be putting a crocodile twist in it. Right, so as you know if you watch the crocodile twist video we just need to get the angle grinder, cut random lines all the way down on all four sides, cut a line down, cut a line down the middle, all four sides. And heat it up, twist it, round it off, and then that shall be your crocodile twist. So, let's get to it. Uh, so while that's heating up, sorry about the weather, it's England, what do you expect? Um, so, while that's heating up, I said whilst I was um, cutting the piece, I said that with the previous blade on the 
angle grinder I was cutting a piece out here and then I had to change the blade over or the disc sorry and now we have a better disc and this is what I was cutting up we were just seeing if this is solid metal or if it's filled with concrete it is completely solid metal so basically we have all of that and all of that of metal circular stuff which is just brilliant yeah I'm glad we have all that so anyway back to the video Take a while, I think. It's a big piece. So we're going to go over it again, heat it up, twist it around the bottom. There you go, this is what it's looking like so far. Alright, so we're going to stick it in the forge again and beat it round. Uh, so we're going to test out my new hammer. I put a handle on it. Uh, uh. So, here it is, you've got the pineapple twist for the main part that you hold on to and your rest is crocodile twist. This end's not so good for the crocodile twist. That end looks quite good. Couldn't really get the twist on this end. But never mind, it still looks good, I think. So now, with that other piece of metal, we have got to make one that is pretty similar.
righty ho then Piot plays. We have got the two. So I'll catch my breath as running. Um we've got the two sides of the nunchuck. Now that I look at it, it's, it's we're gonna have a string from these two ends here. Yeah, can swing about. Now that I look at this handle, although it's a handle, I've essentially just made a nunchuck, nunchucks slash ma malice, mace, whatever you call it, a ball with spikes in it. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to get hit by that. So, what we're going to do, we've got a bad drill, but a dr drill. We've got to bay the drill. What we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole um, right through, can sink both ends, do the same, and then put a string on it, and then it shall be done. Right, so, get my goggles on. Yeah, let's get to it. Right, so the pillar drill didn't really work because of the fact that the piece is circular and any time you press down um, on the piece with the drill bit, the drill bit just bends uh, because it is circular. So. I have clamped it in the vise and what I'm going to try and do is instead of using the pillar drill try and use the hand drill first we've got to find it right so we've got it all set up So there you go. Drill the counter sunk, so we need to find a little bit of rope, dive together, and then we shall have a pair of metal nunchucks. Right, so we have our string, or rope, whatever you want to call it. We have our two big old Duma Flarchies. Move the hammer out of the way. Let's it. And all we're going to do, we've got a knife, we've got a lighter gonna send through the hole turn it up a little bit through the hole and we could tie it like that and have got a good swivel point sort of thing or we could try and tie it like this it would have a little bit of gap, but still swivel and all that sort of stuff. I think what I might do is this is dead side here. I think, sorry, Dad, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, I'm gonna do a, actually, I don't know. Just now, I'll tell you what, I'll go with dead side here. What we're going to do is just try and bind it a little bit tighter together by heating up a little bit. Right, so I've linseed all that up. I forgot to film it, so sorry about that. But we have. Still a bit of rope, we've got some shoelace now. It's about two foot two feet long. So and I've melted the ends so they're not very apart. And right now we're just gonna try and attach them together once again. There we go. I'm roughly drawn together now. Not so pretty, but let's go give them a test. Right, so, we've got all tied up. Let's give them a test. So, quite frankly, 
compared to any other pair of nunchucks that I've used, any other nunchuck, it weighs about two ounces. This weighs about 950,000 tons. So, just to put it in perspective. Stand together. Very heavy. I'm sure it would hurt if I hit myself in the head. Which I didn't. Right, that's enough. Twirling. Let's go smash something back in a second. Right. So I think it might be best if we eat some goggles on. Not sure if this is going to work or not. But here. Oh, this is different. <laughs> a little bit of there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're going to clear that up. I <laughs> <laughs> just made a, two maces on a piece of string. Oh, well, give me a pair of wooden nunchucks I could do that, honestly. Too much fun now. <laughs> I've got anything bigger than me. <laughs> I don't know why I find it so funny. That's brilliant. Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> the deadliest thing I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That'll be it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, the most dangerous thing I've ever made, deadliest thing I've ever made, not the heaviest, um, but I think probably one of the coolest. <laughs> I mean, how many 14 year olds can say that they made something out of metal on a piece of string that can smash loads of things? That's essentially two maces on a piece of string. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, comment what you like, what you didn't like, what I could do, what I could do to improve. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, turn notifications on so you do not miss out on any new videos. Like if you like the video, all that sort of malarkey and not nonsense, but. Serious <laughs> racism. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Manly. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to cut that bit. <laughs> oh, God. It's the last bit. Oh, please. Thank you to Sensei Russell for the idea. You probably weren't actually being serious. Fine. Probably weren't actually being serious. But there you go, anyway. Metal nunchucks. So yes, thank you to Sensei Russell for the idea. So thank you for watching. Um, yeah, comment what you liked, what I might be able to do to improve any projects that um, I might be able to do. Please comment, um, subscribe, turn notifications on, like if you like the video, all that sort of social media, electrical, internet malarkey. And I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.